Thank you for my baby Miranda. So in today's video, I'll be getting ready to go to SAC. It's for, for family. And it's early right now. I think it's like 6.30. Gotta go hop in the shower and get ready. But I will show you the process of me getting ready. This looks so good. I'll be back though. Okay, so I'm in the bathroom right now. I'm to hop in the shower, so we gotta be out there by 2, so we have to leave here like 9, 10, but I just like getting ready ahead of time because that's just me, I don't like being rushed getting ready, when I get ready I like to, you know, take my time, do my hair, things like that, it's gonna be a drive. And what else? Oh, I threw some snacks in my purse because you gotta have snacks while you're driving. But let me go get ready because, yeah. What's up, y'all? I just got out the shower. I'm just finna start getting ready. I need to, we need to be at the house pretty soon. I took hella long in the shower, like always. But I will be back. Sorry, I can't just be all up in my towel. That's not me, okay? Bye. I look so damn childish with this on, but it's like a towel zip up, you know, for the for the beach. This is my little sister's, but I just didn't want to be on here with nothing else. I'm gonna go ahead and do like a little quick, you know, skincare. Good morning, Luca. What time are we leaving? Oh, start. oh, yeah, so it do start at 2, but, oh, well. When I get out the shower, my face instantly goes dry because I have dry skin in the wintertime. But I will do, like, a, a separate skincare routine. Comment down below if you're that girl who gets ready and like messes up your whole room to get ready. I can't do that. I can't function in clutter. It's so hard for me. I always have to pick up things as I go. Cause it's like, I like coming home. Like knowing I've been out all day, I like coming home to a clean room. I love that. It's always Vaseline on the lips. Peep this. Yeah, that's what you call loyal. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't really wear makeup for real. Like, if I'm wearing makeup, I'm most, I most likely got it done. I do not know how to beat my face. And I really don't want to know how, to be honest. I'll leave that up to the makeup artist to do that. And don't forget y'all, every day, clean your ears, every day. I'm gonna throw this in my purse. Shout out to my sister, Matia. She always gives me these little eco styler gels and they come in handy, like, especially when I'm on the go. I always have my edge brush in my purse because you never know you never know when you gotta whip out your edge brush we rock big purses because i'm five eleven Damn! if you didn't know like i'm a big girl but i just can't like seeing like a big girl to me with a small purse it's just like huh i don't know i've always been that way though i've always had big purses 
because I feel like it just matches my body. I wear small purses sometimes, but not all the time. I'm wearing a small purse if it's like a quick little, you know, run out the house and then, but day to day, mm -mm. all small. And I just feel like that purse went with the shoes and my little shawl. I'm not trying to keep it all neutral colors. Black is my all time favorite color. Black, white, and gold. Oh, and I love red too. Red is like, I love that color on me. Yellow on me too. Oh, another, um, another thing I like using is shea butter. It's like African shea butter. I don't really need a hell of deodorant. I always use a Dove spray on. My body used to be allergic to this really bad and like my armpits would get like, yeah, they would get hella itchy and all of that. So I had to stop using this for a minute and I switched over to, I think it was Native. Native deer. Oh, it was Dr. Teal's. Dr. Teal's um, eucalyptus deodorant. I really love that deodorant. It was one of the glide on deodorants. But I was using this one day and my armpits didn't have any allergic reaction. So I was like, yes, I'm going to keep this in it. And I do have eczema. Um, I've had eczema since I was actually like born. I had it bad when I was little. I know, here we go. She got eczema, but I take care of my eczema. Eczema? <laughs> walking around you know all dried out and yeah but this eczema is by a black owned business and it's called rich and glow you can find them on instagram but it's all organic products and i just love putting this on my hands i used to have it really bad on my hands but during the winter time my hands do get dry and I just try to keep myself moisturized as possible. It's either leave-in, diva cream leave-in, or this diva cream curl styler. It's like a super cream. Go ahead the leave-in because I just washed my hair. And I don't wash my hair every day, but this week I had to wash it twice in a row because I had put product in my hair yesterday. And I don't like product buildup. Alright, so finally on our way. Just hit the road. Say what's up, Wicca. Even if you have your down payment ready, most banks won't qualify you to have to We have to make a trip to the store real quick before we hit the road. We just got some gas. Hey Lika. Look at her. Oh my goodness. But I need to get me another mask because I forgot my mask at home. Gotta get some, get some snacks. Hey guys, so we're in the store and we're trying to get some masks because we forgot our masks. Fit check. I'm wearing heels and I don't know how to walk in them. So, yeah. Pringles are right here. You guys like my hair? Marna did it for me. And look at mom. What's the ick bar? Okay. What's your um go-to road trip snacks? This is not even a road trip. We're going to SAC, but it feel like a road trip. When you live out here and you go to SAC, you're like, damn, you really going to do that drive? I got his water. I'm just looking for his chips now. Um... <laughs> mm -hmm. Comment down below your snacks that you like. Wait, I need 
need the, they don't have Lunchables. Oh yeah. I'll get back to y'all later. All my essentials for the road. y'all so we finally made it to sec and yes hey dad say hi hi we out here and it's a nice day out here i'm not even gonna lie it's the funeral home it's my first time meeting it's my mom's side of the family i never met them before but you know it's the first time for everything just go in I'm, I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna record like that this is just a trip to sec with my family I'll talk to y'all in a minute this is my and I got the booties to go with the dress so yeah what's up y'all so I just got back to the house and I don't really I didn't want to record nothing at the insect because when I'm with my family, it's intimate, you know? I just like being in the moment and not pulling out a camera, trying to, you know, put everybody face in the camera. I feel like that's low-key disrespectful. And when I'm chilling with my family, I just like it to be me and my family out of respect. But this is my Uncle Use who passed away. And I could tell by the eulogy, he was a good man. There was a lot of um, testimonies and a lot of like memories that was shared today. And I'm happy that I got to witness it and hear it, you know, cause he was loved by all his, you know, grandkids, nieces, nephews, even, you know, cousins, all of that. This is his program. He looked like my mom's side of the family. His mom and my mom's mom is first first cousins. So that's how we related. But yeah, I just, I had a good time this act today. And shout out to all my family that I met today. Good people. And it's always a good vibe, you know, good energy. And I'm blessed that, you know, I got to have this experience. But, yeah, I just wanted to stop in and share my little thoughts on that. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I post a new video. Yeah, this movement.